<laughs> Welcome to the Massive Loop tutorial series. In this series, we will go over the creation of a multiplayer network deathmatch game. My name is Brandon, and I will be your guide through this first episode, which will focus on the process of creating and uploading the basic world. This episode will not require any kind of prior programming knowledge. We will go step by step, setting up and utilizing the core features of the SDK to create our deathmatch game. Massive Loop is an immersive VR metaverse. It is an interconnected network of virtual worlds that you can visit. Worlds can be shops, games, hangouts, clubs, or anything else you can imagine. And you can even create your own avatar and become whoever you wish to be within our metaverse. If at any time there are questions you have during any of these tutorial episodes, or if you need additional help, please feel free to get in touch with us. You can join our community Discord server and ask us in developer channels for any kind of help. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. The first step is to simply join our community Discord server and fill out our closed alpha signup sheet. Once you have your Massive Loop account, you're ready to log in through the alpha portal. You'll be greeted with a page on what to expect during this alpha period of development. On the top left, you'll see a navigation bar that includes worlds, avatars, contacts, and downloads. First, click on the Worlds tab. This will bring you to your own Worlds page. To create your first world, simply click on the Create button and fill out the details for your first world. Now that we have established a world, we will now move into actually creating and building out that world. Let's go ahead and get the SDK tools. Click on the Downloads button. From this page, there are three components that are vital. First, you will have to download the Metaverse browser. This is the main VR client for visiting worlds within Massive Loop. You will also have to download the Massive Loop SDK and a link to the Unity Editor version specified here. It is important to download this version of Unity as this is the specific version that is compatible with Massive Loop. When downloading the Unity Editor, it is important to make sure that you install the Unity Hub to help manage your Unity projects on your system. Later on in this series, we'll be scripting in Lua with the Massive Loop SDK. We recommend that you download a code editor similar to Visual Studio Code. Specifically for Visual Studio Code, we also recommend that you install the Lua extension. Having this editor will help with syntax checking and make scripting much easier for you in the long run. With each of these components now downloaded, we will install both the Unity Hub and Editor. Now that we have Unity installed, open the Unity Hub application and create a new project. At the top, ensure that you have the editor version specified for use with Massive Loop selected. Then select 3D Core and type in a name for your project. Once you have finished filling out the rest of those details, click on the Create Project button. Now that your Unity project is created and the editor is open, we will go ahead and install the Massive Loop SDK that we downloaded earlier into this project. The SDK is a Unity package. Simply drag the file into your project window within the Unity editor. This will open a prompt. Click Import. With the SDK now installed, you should see at the top of the Unity editor a new tab called Massive Loop. If you do, that means it was installed correctly. There are a couple of last things that we need to set up for the SDK. You'll need to tell the SDK where your client application is located. This is important for utilizing the build and run feature within the SDK. We will also need to set up the layers so that Massive Loop can recognize them. Open the control panel and navigate to the settings tab. Open the drop-down labeled project. Here, you will see a button called Setup Layers. Click this, and this will set up your Unity project layers used in the Massive Loop client. Next, we will need to make sure that the SDK knows where the client application is located. Navigate to the drop-down labeled Massive Loop Browser. Click the Select button and locate your Massive Loop Browser client within your PC. Once that has been selected, your project is now ready. With that, we can now begin creating a world. Unity creates a sample scene that we are loaded into by default. You can create a new scene if you wish, or you could also rename the default scene to your world. Now let's begin building an environment. 
You can choose to author your own custom assets, or you can find many other great assets off of the Unity Assets Store, or online. Be sure to check our page on the Massive Loop SDK site for guidelines on assets. You will need to check if they are compliant and compatible with VR and Massive Loop. Please note that C Sharp scripts will be disabled. Massive Loop supports Lua scripting. Most virtual assets like 3D models and textures should work. It's very important to have colliders. Colliders prevent objects from slipping into each other. These are critical to have in your world as they prevent your player from falling through the world and going through what should otherwise be impossible objects. Unity has many different collider types that can be used in your world, such as box colliders, sphere colliders, capsule colliders, and mesh colliders. With our scene environment now created, we'll go ahead and add some important Massive Loop objects that will help it become viable and compatible with Massive Loop. First, we need to add a Massive Loop world and world descriptor. To do so, right-click on Massive Loop, then click on World Descriptor. The World Descriptor describes the properties of your world and also where spawn points within your scene are going to be located. Right-click on Massive Loop, then click on Spawn Point to create a Spawn Point Game object. Let's drag and drop the Spawn Point Game object from the Scene Hierarchy tab to the available Spawn Locations array. You can place as many Spawn Points as you like. We will now walk through the process of uploading your world to Massive Loop. To do so, click on the Massive Loop control panel at the top of Unity. You'll need to log in with the same account that we began with at the start of this tutorial. Now click on the World tab within the control panel. You should see a list of the worlds that you created back when we were registering them on the website. Click on the world that you registered at the beginning of this tutorial. Here you will see three different buttons, Analyze, Build and Run, and Build and Upload. Analyze runs a few diagnostic checks on your world to determine whether or not it is Massive Loop compatible. This will inform you whether or not there are errors that are stopping you from uploading the world. Build and Run will locally build your world and launch a local version of the Massive Loop browser, not connected online. And lastly, Build and Upload. This will upload your world to our Massive Loop servers. Now press on the Build and Upload button. When you get a dialog that says that your world has successfully been uploaded, you are now set. In order to visit your world, please ensure that you have a VR headset connected to your computer. Whether it is the HTC Vive, Quest 2, or the Valve Index, we support all VR headsets. In our next tutorial, we'll be going over utilizing more complex features that will come with Unity to add more complexity to your world before we add scripting later on to the Deathmatch game. Once again, please stop by our community Discord server. Have fun building your new world, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. <laughs>